Hey everybody, <clears throat> it's Tyson here. Uh, this is a video update of my sickness. Um, I went to the hospital yesterday. Yesterday being uh, uh, Thursday. Thursday, January 8th. And the day before, I went to the family doctor. And he didn't seem to think it was anything serious. Uh, he took my temperature and it turned out I had a normal temperature. It was actually two degrees under, it was like 35 something. Uh, and despite the fact that I told him I hadn't been sleeping and all the symptoms I was feeling, he didn't seem to think it was too serious. And said, you know, I could wait up to seven days hearing back from him as to what I, what I have. Uh, so he gave me some medication and he said it, it would work. So I started taking it, and then, I guess technically it's, it still feels like Thursday to me, because I, well, I'll get into it, but I guess technically yesterday, uh, I still didn't sleep, and my tonsils were almost touching, like, it was ridiculous. I don't know if you can see it or not. Ah, uh, maybe not. Maybe you can't see. Well, there, there are pictures on my Facebook. But, uh, they'd, like, they were closing in, so I knew something wasn't right, so we went to the hospital, and there's my lovely little hospital band, and they take my temperature and stuff, and then I find out, to my shock, that I have a flu, or not flu, a uh, fever, and a pretty damn good one, and that shocked me, because just the day before, my doctor said, oh, you're fine, but going to the nurse with the throat infections that can they can fluctuate so I get admitted like really quick uh, they take information and stuff and then I was looking at potentially like nurses were saying that I was potentially gonna be hospitalized so I was gonna have my tonsils removed and all this, all this jazz so I was a little rattled because I hadn't slept in five days so I was exhausted, then I hear that I have the flu, and I haven't been eating, because my throat is so closed. Uh, but then I see a doctor, and he checks me over, he takes my temperature and everything, and then he prescribes these to me. He decided that I didn't have to go in the hospital. He, he gave me whatever the heck these are. They're green. And they're like heavy, heavy-duty antibiotics. Uh, then here, I got some lovely Percocet. Percocet. Uh, the reason for that is because I told him I wasn't sleeping, so he said this would take away the pain and should knock me out. Um, so I would take it, and sure enough, finally, this kind of did work. So far, like it's uh, 20 to 4 in the morning right now. I went to bed at 11, and I slept till about 1.30, which is pretty good. And then all this stuff, like, this was the uh, Percocet, I was supposed to take every four hours, that's every six hours. So I took both of these at nine o'clock when I got home. Uh, and then I woke up at three, so it would have been six hours. So I thought, okay, well, take it again. So I'm just up right now waiting for this to kick in a little bit. And then back to bed for me. But uh, what the doctor also said is with these heavy duty uh, antibiotics, if, uh, <coughs> if I don't see, uh, <coughs> excuse me. If I don't see drastic uh, reduction in swelling within like the next day or two, uh, then I will have to be hospitalized. My tonsils will have to come out, so not looking forward to that. Because basically, like these are the strongest antibiotics you could give me for this, and if they don't work, then well, at least they got to come out, right? So uh, that's pretty much it. Um, so just dealing with my flu and trying to eat. Eating is a bitch. It fucking sucks. But, like, and I have to take, when I take the antibiotics, I have to take it with a meal. And I can barely swallow shit. So that's a bloody struggle and a half, and it hurts like you wouldn't believe. But, uh, I'm going along, so I'll see what happens this weekend. Hopefully those pills will work and I don't have to go to the hospital. Uh, but also I'd like to say thank you for everyone who's 
and showing me support, you know, like messaging me and calling me so I get better and all that kind of stuff. I'd also like to especially uh, thank Sue. She's been really helpful through this. She's a co-worker of mine and she's given me suggestions on things to do, things to buy food-wise. It's She's been a really great help. So Sue, if you're watching this, thank you. Uh, so I'm just gonna do my thing and try to get better so we can get back to work and have the pub team reunited. And don't I sound really funny? Like this is, a, I, th I think I actually sound a little bit better than I did this morning. So maybe the pills are working, but yeah. So bottom line, I have the flu. My tonsils may have to come out. Uh, since Sunday, I've gotten like three hours sleep I've barely, well, I'm trying my damnedest to eat, but basically yesterday I didn't eat anything. Uh, now when I got home from the hospital and took my medication, I had soup, and then, yeah. So, I'm just going to edit this, so by the time I put it online, then I should probably be good to go back to sleep. So, thanks for tuning in, and thanks for all the support, everybody. Take care. Peace out.